Indianapolis, the state capital of Indiana, is a bustling city known for its affinity for sporting events and Hoosier pride. Home to the Indianapolis 500, the annual car race first started in 1911. The world-renowned event draws over 300,000 race fans each year. Indianapolis also boasts 33 war memorials, second only to Washington, D.C. Proud of its heritage, Indianapolis is in a state of redevelopment in the downtown area. With global headquarters for pharmaceutical giant Eli Lilly, as well as regional offices for Rolls-Royce, downtown Indianapolis is seeing a resurgence in businesses and young professionals flocking back to live and work in the vibrant city. Enviro Forensics, a leading environmental firm based in downtown Indianapolis, specializes in redeveloping brownfield locations and was chosen by a regional retailer when a large chlorinated solvent plume was discovered beneath their facility. TCE was historically used as a degreasing agent in the industrial area. The site geology involved both coarse-grained and fine-grained soils, with the mass contaminants most heavily concentrated beneath the retail warehouse building owned by the client. Enviro Forensics chose an innovative combined remedy approach incorporating Regenesis Plume Stop Liquid Activated Carbon, HRC, and BDI Plus as part of their final design. We looked at a lot of technologies for this site, ranging from thermal to just reductive dechlorination. In our opinion, due to the unique geology and circumstances with the release, uh, Plume Stop was the right product to be used here. Plume Stop was used to coat the coarse grain soils and provide a mechanism to address back diffusion of chlorinated solvents out of the fine grain soils near the source area. Partnering with Regenesis Remediation Services to implement the design, Enviro Forensics anticipated a quick, safe, and effective result in reducing the contaminant levels to regulatory standards. The primary objective of the project was to greatly decrease or eliminate off-site migration of contaminants, thereby identifying potential downgradient sources prior to spending money to treat the downgradient plume that could be commingled. This limits the risk and expenditure to the client. Both teams felt confident based on success using a similar approach on prior sites. The affected area was well established and active with ongoing business. In addition, existing buildings surrounding the impacted area with utilities were present. The site required the team to develop a highly strategic design to effectively mitigate the contaminated area with little to no disruption to ongoing business. Speed and certainty were paramount in developing an effective solution to meet client and regulatory goals. One of the elements to this site that makes it challenging is this is an active warehousing and sales facility so that the client wanted the facility to remain open for business during the entire remediation. So we had to section off all the indoor areas, with, and there's a large area, uh, such that they could continue to operate the business as we did the remediation. Enviro Forensics felt confident in choosing Regenesis Remediation Services Division, or RRS, to perform the work. The Regenesis team is great, ranging from the technical to the uh, RRS team. They're uh, knowledgeable and the customer service is great. I've worked with Enviro Forensics for probably six of my eight years in the industry. So I've got a long track record with Enviro Forensics. A uh, really good working relationship with Keith. Um, they're a great, uh, great client to work with. It's a great team to work with. Everyone's hardworking, everyone's friendly, outgoing, and that really goes a long way when we travel as much as we do. Well, we expect that Plume Stop begins to work uh, nearly immediately in our, in our experience with the product that it, it does. Um, and we hope to have closure within a couple of years of monitoring. <laughs>